Hi, I'm Kurt Downsett. 100 years ago, the most revolutionary ideas in honeyed were generated in this very room. It was here that John M. Browning conceived and prototyped most of his game-changing firearm designs, the Auto 5, the BAR, the Superpost, and dozens of others. In the decades that followed his death, this room was more or less forgotten. It stored furniture and books. For a while, it was abandoned. With the windows broken out by vandals and the ceiling partially caved in, this room became nothing more than a pigeon roost. Then, a decade ago, some of the brightest minds in hunting, seeing this room as hallowed ground, set up shop here. As though inspired by the room itself, unique ideas again flowed into the world of hunting. It was in this very room that the idea for Gore's Optifade concealment originated. And it is here that we've gathered a few of the mavericks of today's hunting world to discuss their game-changing approaches, ideas, gear, and ethics. They don't host TV shows. You've probably never heard of them, and frankly, they don't care. You won't see them wearing camo if they're not hunting. You'll rarely see them in stereotypical grin and grip shots with their kills, but that doesn't mean they don't have them. The newcomers they attract to hunting, then mentor to success, are a more important measure of success to them than inches of antler growth, though they've racked up their share of that too. For decades, the game hasn't changed, so these guys decided to change the game. I'm Dr. Jeff Harrison. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and avid bow hunter. My pro tip for you, I think you ought to wear sunscreen and chapstick. I think they're very important when you're out hunting at these high elevations. May not be what you'd expect from an orthopedic surgeon, but I think it's very important in our altitude to protect your skin and your lips. Thanks. My name is Kevin Wilkie. I'm the 2009 World Games gold medalist and an avid bow hunter. Today I have a pro tip for you. I've spent a lot of time tuning broadheads and getting them to fly accurately. For mechanical broadheads, I've learned that I need about nine inches of total vein length on the back end. So I shoot three inch veins and I put three of them on there. And having a good helical on them also helps me keep them flying straight. For my fixed bladed broadheads, I prefer around 12 inches of total vein length. So if I'm going to shoot a fixed bladed broadhead, I'm going to run three, four inch veins with a pretty tight helical. And that really keeps my arrows shooting straight and true and right in the middle where they belong. And that's your pro tip. Hi, I'm Jesse Nelson. Like a field rep and professional guide, my pro tip is surround yourself with quality equipment like Mystery Ranch Packs, Leica Sport Optics, Sika with Optifade, and the Outdoorsman Tripod. These products will cost you a little more up front, but they will save you in the long run. Nothing's more costly than equipment failure in the field. I'm Jonathan Hart with Sitka Gear, and this is my tip. First thing you should do when you get a new piece, like the Gore-Tex, is wash it. You gotta make sure it doesn't have any UV brighteners in it. Dry it, do it consistently. The more dirt and grime that builds up on it, you're just destroying the breathability of the product and uh, destroying the performance of it. I'm Pete Butchart. I'm the owner and chef at uh, Roosters Brewing Company and Union Grill Restaurant. And uh, my pro tip for elk and venison cooking is to cook it hot and fast because those meats are very lean and they're easy to dry out. So if you take a long time cooking it, you're more likely to have kind of a dry, chewy uh, dish. So hot and fast. I'm Mark Seacat with Mystery Ranch Backpacks. I'm also a Sitka athlete and a professional photographer. And I spend a ton of time in the backcountry and this is my pro tip. Incorporating um, all your lightweight gear into your sleeping system is a great way to save weight. What I like to do in the backcountry is any kind of extra stuff I have, I form into a, a pillow. Um, I've got a pad that's just designed for areas that I want to really protect like my shoulders um, and my butt. And then I'll put my feet actually on my backpack um, so that they're going to stay warm. Um, all this, this whole system will just go right up here like this and then I'll be nice and comfy regardless of terrain. I'm Bruce Engleby. I'm an avid hunter. I'm also a veterinarian. My pro tip today involves physical conditioning. The past few years I've been hunting deer and sheep and uh, these animals live in rough country. I feel like you need to keep yourself in as good a shape as possible. It not only helps with physical toughness, but if you feel better when you're out there, it helps maintain your mental toughness also. And if you spend a lot of time out there, you need to be physically tough and mentally tough in order to, uh, to chase these animals in the country they live in. 